Hello, today and we're going to do a review of Grange Hill for the Amstrad CPC. I did a review of this for the Commodore 64. I originally had this for the Amstrad CPC before I did it on the Commodore 64, but today is going to be the Amstrad's turn for Grange Hill. This was based on a TV series back in the 80s, well, it started in the late 70s, but this actual game is based in the 80s of the character Gonch. Um, so what we've got to do is break into the school and get our cassette player back because the teacher confiscated it. So what we're going to do is just go around, pick out objects and put them with other objects so it, you can do things and shit like that. So we're going to talk to the drugs pusher. <laughs> pusher. Like that. Just call him a pusher. Yeah, and we're going to tell him a fuck off and see if it works. He shrugs and walks off. Well, it obviously does work. <laughs> tell the bastard to fuck off. I don't know. It might have been powdery stuff. Bloody hell. No, it was probably a bag of shaken vac or something like that. You don't want to see in the bag, do you? Just a white powder. When you're a kid, you don't know what it is. Bloody hell, you shouldn't. Um, so back to the game we go so we're gonna go up here get the textbook and we'll use the textbook to get something else it's just about working things out for yourself so we're gonna stand on the book to get the paper plane because we can't reach it otherwise um, I remember Gonch being a gingerhead character in Grand Hill. I don't know why in this he's got black hair. Same with the Commodore 64. And I presume the Spectrum too. Never played it on the Spectrum but I've seen reviews on the Spectrum. The only review I've seen I have seen a review on on this game for the Spectrum and it's I think it's the only completed version I've ever seen. So interesting there so there's hollow his best friend so we talk to him tell him to come on because he always lags behind or stays somewhere come on hollow you bastard i wonder if that would work well well it well i don't know why it's haunting a bit i don't remember what you're talking about Oh, I don't know. oh, here he comes, bastard. So, I think we're going up the telephone box inside the broken telephone box. Doesn't look like it's going to fix. Yeah, same with the used to be. I think there's just any telephone boxes up around much now. It wasn't one of our phones. <laughs> but this is the 80s. And oh fuck! That wasn't a very clever idea, Rolf. As savage you're dead, and now you probably die of some horrible disease. I wonder what that horrible disease is. It fucking certainly isn't AIDS, is it? It only means one thing rabies. So let's have another go. So up. Uh, Oh, that was a quick game. <laughs> well, I got home, basically, and she knows I, your mum knows that you ain't got your Walkman, so it's game over, straight away. So let's have one more go, and this time, we're gonna go to the drugs pusher. You've seen this, I think you've seen this part, if you've seen my Commodore 64 review on this game. This time, we're just gonna go to the drugs pusher, and we're going to say yes. And so, a packet of white powder. The man offers you a packet of white powder. You don't know what the fuck it is. As I say, it could be fucking talcum powder or washing up. Not washing, washing powder. Here we go. There is an empty look in his eyes and he snatches the money from your hands. His face is pale and drawn. His body is thin and unfed. He steals the key, his, 
his habit and makes addicts of children he is dead and soon you will be you will be too yeah because you can really get high from bloody shake and vac can't you you're gonna look a right idiot going to school look what i'm snorting you fucking hell anyway this is the end of this review i hope you enjoyed it till next time goodbye